Hello everyone, I am tessellating hexagons. Ha! You can't trip me up this time sooner than expected loading times. Uh, oh, yeah, hi. Tessellating hexagons, cursed mountain, blind. In the last episode, a load of things happened, including burb. Burb happened again, and now we're down here, which is like a snowy reprise of that time that Jomo Menmo bit us on the hand and sent us tumbling to our not-death. There's a lot of not-death in this game, apart from in the last episode where there was a lot of death on my part. Now, I think the way forward is fairly obvious, but I'm sort of dillying and dallying, just in case there's like a boob statue or a Jomo Menmo prophecy, because we're missing four at this point if the, um, if the HUD is anything to judge by. Hopefully there won't be any more bullshit wind. You say this is bad. Do I still have to... Yeah, I'm still lag paring it. I feel as though Burb might attack us again, so I'm gonna give the Corlo another try because when we got the lag par, I poo pooed it, then gave it another try, and it worked fine. And the Corlo was terrible, got me killed quite a bit, by which I mean like twice. But I feel like I, if we're gonna fight Burb again, if it's even the same Burb, I get the feeling that it's not gonna be lag parable. I mean, we haven't seen any non lag parable enemies so far, as far as I recall, but still. This could be the first. Where am I doing? What am I going? Grammar. I'm, I'm sort of in two minds about how good the weather effects here are as well, because I mean, is it snow? Is it confetti? Did someone's dog attack the beanbags in the sky again? Is Jesus having a cheat day and stuffing his face with marshmallows? I, I don't know why I went there. Religion isn't even my thing, as you can tell by me playing this game. Normally you'd say something by now, Eric. Not, not specifically this part of the game, but just generally speaking, you'd have some sort of snide or quippy remark to say while we're going through this tunnel, which makes my mind think of things that are suggestive, but I'm not going to bring them up because it's a fucking rock tunnel in a mountain. It's not an actual vagina, nor is it reminiscent of one in anyone's mind but my own, and possibly yours now that I've mentioned it. Is it a dead end? A literal dead end? Because there's dead people? Murdered? Can we take the axe, though? Can we dual wield? And can I go? Can I go further? How make go? Where is do? Wow. Like, three minutes into the episode, and I'm already a little bit lost. Like, do I need to go further this way? Because it doesn't look like I can. But one thing that I've learned from Let's Playing this game... There we go. Fucking climbable wall I couldn't even see. One thing that I've learned from this game is... Oh, hang on. Brittle. Brittality. Is that if you if you're going in an obviously linear direction, and you can't go any further, and there's no way of going further, you can't see any way of going forwards. There is a way of going forwards. It's just stupidly hidden. I see a statue. I don't know if it's a boob or prophecy or what. I will take either quite happily, even though the boob statues don't really help me. But a prophecy will give me an extra fuck of health. Ooh, a dead tent. Will there be dead people to go with? Am I gonna have to re-equip the lag par? <laughs> Ooh, oxygen. My favourite flavour. <laughs> I mean, that's not untrue. Being as I am a, an organism that breathes oxygen as far as I know. You're alright there, Mr. Moon Man. Hey, who turned out the lights? And other quotes from the Vashti Narada. Oh, you're not a happy... <laughs> He's literally not a happy camper. Re-equipping the lag par because- oh, where are you- what- who are you fucking in that outfit? Wait, did I avoid damage? Did I not? Lag par the wrong one, I think. Are there copies of him? Am I- is- is this like- no? Can you be lag par You can! I'm gonna maraca this shit up! Bye, Felicia! That was a little bit David Mitchell. <laughs> well, I think that went rather well for an ambush. An ambush? What? What? I can walk up the snow boob? I can't walk all the way up the snow boob. Tent. 
Campsite, whose people are wearing shoes? Oh, that's tragic. They clearly died of... Every time, every time, journal. I'm consciously trying not to hmm this time. So, he was murdered. He was the one that we saw who was murdered with his own axe then. Tragimalagic kaboobly. That certainly is an adjective. Now, bothers me. I, it looks like I can go this way. And I don't want to because there's a statue in the opposite direction, but I'm still going this way for some reason. Hinting to self. Did I... Can I this? Can't tell if this is can to be do. Have I ever... Just to go on a completely, entirely unrelated tangent. That's not the countdown theme in the background, is it? It can't be. That's copyrighted. Have I ever told the story of my accidental DVD collection? Because it's entirely not relevant, and that's exactly why I'm bringing it up. Just because at the moment it's stored next to my TV. So I'm sort of looking at that and the screen intermittently. Yes, I have an accidental DVD collection. Why is there a... I mean, I appreciate the opportunity to heal, but... Realistically and diegetically, what the fresh fuck is that doing here? I'm only one fuck away from full, and there's the statue which I can zoop from here. Long distance Clara. Oh. Prophecy! Prophecy! Can I take... Thank you! It's filling up. Do I get a heal out of that as well? I seem to recall that I do. Because I, I, I wondered that same thing before. S smooth? That almost sounds like a, a really terrible fanfiction summary. Just not, not of anything in particular, but just... It's been pointed out before how... On some fanfiction websites, the descriptions of them are, like, completely meaningless wordcraft. There are ghosts, there are Jesuses behind you, like, they're doing the ice skating Jesus pose. And there's also the bull one, and... Why are you intimidated? You've fought these before. Oh, hello there. I did wonder if we're going to run into you again. So that's why I got an extra fuck of health. Though it seems a bit silly to give you a, a free heal. No, no, a, a paid-for heal, rather. I don't think you could be lagpard, so call though it is. Why would they give you the opportunity to, to pay for a heal immediately before getting a... Watch me do, Hickey. A, a, a free heal by way of a health upgrade. That seems a little bit... Rump, Rumpford Pumpington. I... I think I should try the lag power on this thing, but I'm not going to because I feel like it won't work and I'll be disappointed. It looks slightly more liony than the previous burb, but then again, I didn't get a proper good look at the previous burb. And I'm, I'm going to have to do something with those statues eventually. I'm going to need to zoop them with my A button. Where are you going? Oh, there we go. It's the heal times. Does, are you, you going to pop the bubbles around them so that I can... Flush out the shoes? Can they please be do yet? No. How make go? What do to be less dead? Don't hit me, please, because I hit you and there was a statue in the way. Can I punch the statues in person? Will that do any flavors? Well, I, I saw blood effects, but I don't know whether that was me taking... It can't be me taking damage, because I've not taken damage. Finally. Finally, we can do this. If it feels like responding. I've got to love motion controls. I, I was literally flailing it the whole time. Like, I'm, it's not as if I'm flailing it randomly, either. I'm flailing it in the proper direction. Like, this is backwards and forwards. And so many of, of the nunchuck back and forth, which it seems to know is my weakest one. And by my weakest, I mean actually the game's weakest at, at picking up. There we go. No more statues for you. Now we fight hand 
to hand, by which I mean Corlo to chest. Corlo chest to Space Channel 5, this is the toaster speaking. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I'm apparently a little bit high. Speaking of high, hello there. Because the Corlo has weird charge times, it's sort of difficult to stun lock him with the bullets. Like, fire once, and then fire again, just as he comes out of his stun animation to stun him again. Like, it doesn't recharge quickly enough to do that, unfortunately. Oh? I am absolutely leaving that flailing in because that was loud and hilarious, and there is no reason why it should have taken that long for it to register. What you get, burb? Oh, a second keeler. It looks like a second keeler, anyway. So we could have two slices of pie. Double pie. Barbecue pie. Hmm. We get to nail demons. Again, sounds like bad fanfiction. <laughs> Oh, don't walk up to the edge. It's gonna rise up, punch you in the face, then drag you down again. Like... Eric, get good. See, look. Right fucking there. What did you think was gonna happen, you fruit basket? Oh, and that was the end of the chapter. <laughs> the pacing of this game is a thing. <laughs> huh. I'm sure there are, once again, cold vagina jokes to be made. Oh. 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 Where am I? Oh. 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 Long fall. Everything hurts. Oh, crevasse. This is gonna be tricky. <sighs> it's pretty, though. Like, this is legitimately the prettiest place in this game so far. Which isn't saying much, because everything's drab and miserable, much like Twilight Princess, but even more so. But this is, like, actually really pretty. <laughs> nice. The fuck was that? Meanwhile, in my head, I'm just... Welcome to the crevice of no return, you'll never want to leave. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if I'm even remembering that right, but that was a th that was indeed a thing. Oh, and it's saved. That's always a good sign. I still have the fucking caller equipped, don't I? <laughs> oh good, quick time events, my favourite. Having to shake the stuff away from the microphone so that the cable connecting the Wii remote to the nunchuck doesn't twat the microphone. I'm so considerate, I'm shaking this shit above my head. I am shaking the shit. This is the sandwich talk. Did I win? Did I died? Ah, uh, idiot. Of all the foolish... Oh. Stupid. Oh. That's not gonna help. This just straight up looks like it's a, it's gonna be the home to a boss from like Tales of Vesperia, or one of the Tales of games anyway. None of which I've ever played, nor do I have the intention of let's playing, but they are quality games. Or at least Vesperia and Symphonia, I don't know about the others. Oh hi Mark. What do you got there? Walkie-talkie. Still works. Hello? Who? Is someone out there? Simmons. Frank! My god. Uh, Eric! Simmons! You've got to be kidding me. Are you lost? I'll talk you in. Eek. So... 
in the span of one second, we've gone from Tales of Vesperia to fucking Bioshock. I'm not opposed. Okay, that's a camera angle. And that's a ghost. And <laughs> this is the sandwich. <laughs> Just, again, stealing other people's memes. Now, give me a moment. Once I have control, I'm going to bring back the lag path. Unless we're just doing the running away thing again. Which I can also handle. Right. If you don't figure this out, it will kill you. Oh, we have the upgraded keeler. Well, that works too. I'm guessing that just means that it's it's stronger. How about you all stop ganging up on me? Seriously, what is this shit? I mean, the, the, the keeler served me well in the past, so I'm thinking the upgrade might also. Even though it's... It's fast, but has slow recharge. And how about you all piss the fuck out and shit off? <laughs> shit off is my favourite corrupted sweary expression, by the way. And also, yay, melee attacks seem to be serving me so many martinis, because they're getting entirely too close, and it's weirdly good for, for crowd control. Well, that's one of them out of the, the way. If I can get... Two of them gone, and then focus on shooting the third. Oh, never mind. We can heal from these for free. Free bull dee bull dee dee. And you. Yep. Can't avoid my ass. Keep moving, Eric. Keep moving, or you're gonna die. Relatable. My thirst for healing my own life from the dead life force of others can never be sated. Oh, multiple symbols. Even better. Oh, we're still dying. Nice. Okay, so that's the way we should be going. You didn't really point me in any good directions here, game. And we're still slowly dying, which is really fucking cheap, if I'm honest. Distance! Did that even summon... That healed me! Why? <laughs> I'm not opposed, but just... Why? And where's the other one? But I suppose it's so that you can find your way in this featureless ice cave, even if you run out of incense. Yeah, shut up, Yankee Doodle. Stop going to town on my ass. Steady on. Yes, I'm stopping for a book. Which means I probably missed one in the other tunnel. But I want to get rid of the slowly ticking down death. Am I still gonna die? Unless I clear that, that shoosh? Oh, I, uh, mm, Got turned around without even turning around. Quality nom noms. Because <laughs> ice caves are food. Well, since those heal me, I'm gonna take a quick peek down the, the other bit. If it'll let me. Camera. Focusing on the... But it looks like the, the Japanese letter Su. Which, that isn't the best way of pronouncing it, but just... Su. It's like a boy named Su, except it's a letter. Ah, you see. This was entirely worthwhile. Where did that ghost even go? Yeah, shut your fuck. I'm working on it. Come on. You fuckhead. Once again, you can hear how, how violently I was waving the thing, and it refused to give it to me. It would seem that it's more responsive if you're a bit slower. I am listening to you, I'm just prioritizing getting this... Is it a boob statue or is it a different statue? Because it appears to be a different color. Nope, it is just the boob statue. I wonder if there's anything to be gained from collecting these, because they always seem to give you like a little bit of attack up in a situation where you've got nothing left to attack. So, I mean, the fact that it's an attack up at all is entirely theory on my part, because I have no reason to believe it. I have not seen any evidence. Why would you change the camera angle only to change it back when I go into third eye mode? Get... Good Steve. Oh, there is a symbol in there. I could barely see it. There we go. Great. Now 
listen to me, Eric. This is going to sound strange, but you've got to trust me. Do I? I'm going to talk you out of there. Just listen to my voice, and everything will be okay. Go on. Must you speak so slowly? Oh, this is Paul! We, we need to meet with him at some point. But since the game just saved, I think now's a good time to say that I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons. In the next episode, we're, we, we are going to do a poo at Paul's. I'll explain that reference next time. See you then.